Hello adventurers! So today we explore this abandoned mental asylum in the Netherlands but that's not only it. On this property there's a big castle which is the mental asylum. There is a big hospital, a church, a nature pool and many of the apartment buildings and even a theater. This is all left on this abandoned property of this mental asylum but there is more to this area the history is really interesting i'm just really quickly gonna let you guys know about the history so so this asylum abandoned in the 90s um, but it became an asylum in the 1870s and the reason i'm saying it became an asylum is because it wasn't always an asylum or a castle it used to be a monastery um, which was i believe robbed in the statue war. I don't know if you guys heard about this. And after that it just uh, they made an asylum out of this place. So that's really interesting history and I cannot wait to show you guys this place. We're gonna do everything in this video. All of those locations I'm gonna visit so it's gonna be one big amazing explore of all those places. There's also an untouched abandoned house on this property with a greenhouse. So that's very interesting too. We're gonna take a look at that too. So hope you guys enjoy. Love you guys and and stay strong guys, even if you have pain, chronic pain, if you're depressed, stay strong guys, keep breathing and let's go. So guys, this mental asylum had its own Ward where they used to make plants and stuff and food. There's cactuses left, but there is some vandalism here. But how cool is this? Like, look at this place, it's extremely hot in here. It's a really warm day, but there's still cactuses alive because cactus can survive really long. So, my dad, when yeah, this abandoned in like the 1990s, so it's crazy. So, this part of the area is completely grown with not plants that they used to grow here just like plants that don't die vernon so they also have those old overgrown plant area where they used to grow vegetables outside and uh, this is forgotten glory for sure look at this place uh, hope you guys can see well because i have complete sun in my eyes so i don't really know what i'm filming yeah, they have those old trees there and bamboo and what a cool place to find this garden of this asylum. Guys, look at this one. This one is really cool. This is so hot. I like this one a lot actually. Plants here are dead. No surprise. Whoa, everybody, what I don't understand is there's so many DVDs here. You can really tell this is like from the 90s-ish. Because that's when DVDs got popular, obviously. There's VHSs too. Um, but also a lot of DVDs, like the biggest collection I ever saw. Like Evan Almighty, like I love that movie. There is horror movie, scary movie, um, Terminator, Eclipse, The Jackass. So many famous movies here. This is a hidden gem that uh, nobody ever filmed. Uh, we are the first ever. Sorry that I zoomed in. This is the first place ever. Like there's so many books too. How cool is this? How cool is this? All stacked in this little room. This is a... Uh, like a magazine. I read a lot as a kid. This one is in bad condition. Oh, there's a few. Oh, I love this one. I don't know if you guys have this in English. I do know you have this one, Asterix and Obelix. But this is in Holland, it's very big. Yo, this was the kitchen area of this little cafe. It's so small. Uh, this was actually a cafe near a golf course of an asylum. Oh, I think it comes from there. But what I, re what I like most about this is the... It's American flag, I think, 
and that's really cool. <laughs> that is awesome, like a rocket. And actually, this is filmed when yesterday the SpaceX launched. So, how cool is that? America is very good with this stuff. And there's some old plates. <laughs> old glasses over there, I'll show you that in a second. There's some walking, uh, walking tools here. And it's old Dutch cookie uh, area. Very, very famous in Holland back in the days. And yeah, this is the glasses of the owners. And uh, it's a really weird glasses. See, it works like this and like this. It folds double, That's I never seen this. Let me put it on, I know you guys wanna see. Yo. That is so weird. Everything is so big when I wear this. Huh. Quite nice glasses, I'm not gonna lie. But I don't know much about glasses. Not much at all. What a cool little building. And then also has a herbology area from the 90s that they used and there's still some cactuses are still alive. There's a lot of those chairs. Those are the chairs that used to be inside this building. And yeah, we've seen a lot of those also outside in the herbology area, which is my favorite area. We are gonna get to that in a second because it's completely overgrown. It's so much decay. I love that area. And over here is like an old <laughs> flashlight. Or oh, an old radio, look at that. 90, definitely 90s. How cool is this? So my friend, he's a rooftop, but he can climb like you guys know. Follow him on Instagram, guys, if you want. I am not gonna do that with my back. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, but he, he can climb anything. But I'm not gonna do this. But he's gonna maybe film some though, let me know what's there. But yeah, this is another room with just like tools. Like I said, this was a cafe, but uh, I'm actually not sure. Yeah, that's that's such a cool. Oh, I know what that is. Yo, that's uh, Niagara Falls. I, I've been here. Guys, check out my Canada Explorers. They're on my channel. Really cool abandoned places. And this brings me joy seeing this here in the Netherlands. I stood exactly here and I recognized this place. This is why I saw the uh, beaver, the wild beaver. And we also been in that tower, which is, I believe, the highest point in Toronto. So, how cool is this? So he says there's a lot of shells. There. That's weird. That's cool. I found a picture there of Niagara Falls in Toronto. That's the, uh, in Canada, where I was in the highest building. Right. That's so cool. And there's some old tools here. What else is there? Um, bee stuff. Bee stuff? Right. Wow. Yeah, I can maybe film some. <laughs> film some inside, yeah. Oh, there is a lot of bee stuff. Over there, like beehives. Interesting. This was the dance school of this abandoned asylum. Very big area where people used to dance. Really nice fireplace with Dutch stalls and also a Jesus and God and the Dutch crown. Kind of interesting. Looks like they chained somebody up here through this chair, which is kind of scary and sinister. Wow. Really big building. This is like another dancing area. Whoa. Yo, this is dope, man. There's a whole podium. Whoa, check this out. There's a whole theater here for like performances and shows. Yo, and a theater, guys. A whole theater. Did they seriously just walk nearly in there? Bro. Yo. I just nearly walked in there. 
Yeah, this is a real cool area. Wow, this is a whole dancing school. It has like a little watching area on the top here. Almost like a church, like the organ. Oh, this is so cool, and then look at that area. Look at the attic. It's like a hole you could look through. That's very similar to churches. But I like the, the theater a lot. This is kind of unexpected to find this. I knew there was a dance school. I didn't know there was a whole theater with lightning and backgrounds and whatnot. <laughs> this guy. What a cool place. Let me grab out the Olight. So this is where the people used to perform. Like the mental asylum people. Uh, I don't know if I told you, this is close to a mental asylum, which is also abandoned. I'm gonna do this in one video, probably. Um, so this is where the people used to perform. Huh. Very, very interesting. Look at the lightning on the roof. Sick. What a sick location. They will walk right on the stage right here. Look at the cranks for the... This is probably for like the rope. There is still a rope, I think. Does that, work? Does that still work, you think? The crank? Oh, look. It's for the background. So there were different backgrounds on this. And they would just crank them up and then the curtains would close and they would crank another one down. That's super cool. I like this building a lot, actually. I'm gonna take some pictures here. Follow me on my Instagram, guys. I have a weakness for theatres. Abandoned theatres are one of my favourite to explore. So much history. <whistles> Look at this tribune for the theatre. That is cool. Didn't know there was a whole area for the people to sit. How dope is this? Wow. That's a real cool location. Leave a thumbs up for this abandoned theater of the asylum because this is really interesting. The security. <laughs> So the security game is uh, leading us around the basement, <laughs> which is kind of cool actually. Oh wow, smells really bad in here. Do you know anything about the history or? No. It's kind of cool. Oh, a gym, he says. Yeah, he's right. This was the gym area. It's like uh, climbing stuff. Yeah. It's really cool. Really good Yo, this asylum is so big. We found another broken glass over there. It's kind of dangerous to go through, but we're gonna go through. Some vandalism in this building, but another facility where. The patients used to sleep. Uh, more modern part, I would say, than the 1990 building over there. We saw earlier with the little tower. This is a very dangerous way inside. Whoa, be careful, man. The whole thing shaked. Not looking forward to this, but uh, it's the only way inside this. Hope that's not the police for us. I don't know. I'm gonna go inside. So I am inside this facility where they used to sleep. Very little rooms the patients had. There's like an old boiler here. I think it's a big boiler for water. And I just heard something. <laughs> but I don't think there's anybody here. Must be the wind. Look at how small the patients rooms were. It fits like one bed and like a little storage area here. They have big locks. Locks from the outside, so you can tell the patients got locked up inside. That's sick. 
Even the windows have locks. That's insane. Even the kitchen is bigger. But they put the kitchen and the shower in the same room. That's so weird. That is so weird. I've never seen that. So this is a bigger patient's room. Or it was like a kitchen area, a little washing area, I'm not sure. The uh, thing I like about this room is the big closet over there. It makes this room a little bigger. Even though it's a small room, it looks bigger. You have a few of the other abandoned parts, which is the most beautiful for sure. Like I love those old 90s asylums. Those buildings I'm in right now, they got built later. Later on. They're more modern. But they abandoned as well. There's one building still active with this. Mental asylum, which we cannot go because it's still in use. So there are some uh, mental patients in the building still. Another little room. And they all got locked from the outside. This is kind of cool, like a little balcony here. I like that. So I wonder if you slept in this room. If you could get on the balcony. No. No. All the windows are tight shut. I guess patients escaped from here once in a while. Yeah. I hope we can still go get inside the other abandoned older asylum from the 90s because they have the more history. But um, just quickly, I wanted to show you guys those little rooms, the more modern version. Showers are tiny, absolutely tiny. But yeah, in the older asylums, people used to get uh, electric chairs and stuff like that. They're more Interesting, that's why they abandoned. Whoa, this building is huge. Yeah, those are just rooms and rooms and rooms. I'm gonna go to the other side of this building. I'm gonna see if there's anything interesting to see, and otherwise, we're gonna go to the big abandoned apartment uh, area. And maybe in the 90s asylum that's also abandoned. There's two of them. We found one. We didn't see a way in yet. But yeah, let's see. So, one of my friends used to walk in this uh, asylum. And he tells me there's another 90s X asylum, which is like a cost on this property. And there is a way inside, he told me. Uh, because he still walks in the active part of this asylum. So we are going to go to that building as well, because that is what you guys want to see. That's the historical part of this asylum. But yeah, you guys want to see everything. Also, the, the place that abandoned in like 2008 or something. Let's go inside the abandoned apartment building, guys. Look how dope. It's so big. There's some cameras over there. But, uh, we're still gonna go and we don't do anything wrong. We don't vandalize, we don't steal. We all good. Let's go in. So in this abandoned apartment uh, resort, this is from the golf, from a golf course, I believe. And the golf course was once from an asylum, but they turned it into a golf course. Then this hotel was there and it got bankrupt. But we do hear like a little alarm sound or something, but it might be from a fire alarm. It's like beep, beep. So I don't know, we're gonna see. It stopped. Whoa. The floor was weird. There was like water under there, so. That's so sad. We're gonna leave a window open, so hopefully he can uh, fly out again. I was wrong, this was a hospital, I guess the reception. How cool is this actually? Yo, this is cool, an abandoned hospital. And it's like old for children, like... It must have been like a store, yeah. The store is over here, where they used to sell those for the sick children. Whoa. Reception. Look how cool. This is the store. So where they sort like little balloons and things for the sick. That's awesome. All the original files are still here. The, the computer is still there. We 
We need to go there, somebody. We need to go there, somebody in this building. Now I know for sure. Dun. Dun. Dun, there comes someone down. This is where we walked and the guard came, so hopefully he is behind us. What is that? People have been chilling here. The alarm is still going off. Look at this place, that's so cool. Not a reception. But we wanna go higher, because we are definitely gonna get caught if we stay. I want to see the hospital rooms. Thank you. Guys, there is somebody walking around the other property now. You see him? He's looking through the windows. And I keep hearing sounds of floors down now, so... Does he see us? He's looking, he's looking. Oh my god. Do you hear that? We hear like doors slamming downstairs. Yeah, see, he's looking inside. Yeah, we need to go. We need to go higher. I know you guys hear that on my mic. It's 100% somebody in this building, like, opening doors. That's a beautiful view on the asylum. That's an abandoned asylum. I don't know. I did record a video there. I don't know if it's in the same video or not. Or two separate videos, maybe. But it's so beautiful from this view. This goes to the uh, highest roof. So, I don't know, let's see what's up. Uh, very dark. So guys, we're on this roof now. I like a little, this is kind of cool, like a little courtyard on the roof. Whew, it is warm today in Holland. Look at this view. This is a real nice place to hang out. Wow, this is gorgeous. You can get even higher. So, I don't know, we're gonna see. See, this is why we climbed here. We're on the roof now, look how beautiful. That's the asylum. Where's the other asylum then? That's the monastery on the same property. Uh, that's a chapel which is still in use. And that's the little building that we went inside. Also abandoned, like for the patients to live in. But there is another big asylum like this one, also abandoned on this property. How did he climb up there? How did you do that? That's what he used. I don't know with this guy. I don't know with this guy. He's a shame for the past family. <laughs> Bond Stars reference. Ah oh, man, look at this place. Wow, this is really cool. Guys, I find this so freaking scary to walk this. Oh my god. Oh my, yeah, fuck. Oh my god, I'm shaking. I am such a pussy and it's... The wind is so hard here. I, I don't know if I can do this, man. Dude, the wind is so hard. The wind is so freaking hard. Oh my god. I'm just not gonna look, man. Dude, shit, fuck up. Shit, fuck up. Oh my god, I'm like shaking doing this. <laughs> that is kind of high. It's beautiful though, but it's high. Like, he's a rooftop, but I'm not. Uh, it's good to face your fears, that's for sure. But where's the white building? That's the question. We, we still don't see it. We only see the monastery. There is a building over there though, that's wide but that's small, it's like more like a castle. Yo guys, this is the asylum that you guys want to see, there's two big ones and then there's one more modern. Those are from the 90s, or abandoned in the 90s, built in 1780, so that's a long time ago. Let's see if we can get inside this one. Honestly, abandoned asylums that abandoned in the 90s with a lot of history and look like castles. Yeah, those are my favorite places. Like, how cool is this place? 
Look at the little tower. Wonder what's inside there. Let's take a look if we can. Yo guys, this is the outside from this asylum. It's so beautiful. Tower, little towers and stuff. It's so detailed. There is, uh, it says there is a guard here. But a friend of mine walks here. He says he's only here at night. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna see here it says no entrance. Everything. Look at the details of this abandoned asylum. Like, absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if we can get inside on the top. We haven't really had success. I'm gonna walk those beautiful staircase. And then I see you guys, hopefully if we find a way inside, but this is quite marvelous. Oh, and this big flat over here is abandoned too. So maybe we go in there too. It's water visit. So don't press away yet guys, you wanna see this? There's probably some really cool vintage stuff in, inside here. Here I am. There we are on the balcony of this beautiful place. We saw some people earlier and they were looking at us and then they were calling. So we don't know if they called the cops or not. But we're gonna see. We don't vandalize anything. Uh, we never take anything because we are very respectful people. So. Yeah, even if the cops come, we don't do anything really wrong. We're just looking at beautiful old buildings. Like, there is some vandalism over there, you see? Yeah, it's really cool. Really gorgeous building. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of the best abandoned places in the whole world, be sure to turn the bell notification button on all notifications. And if you want to award me for my hard work, as it is very hard for me to do this hobby with my health problems and nerve pain, you can always leave a like and comment. I appreciate all the amazing support on the channel and wishlist. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Exploring and Me to see all the stories and the photos I post of the abandoned places. With this being said, thanks a lot and I hope to see you guys next week for a brand new abandoned location. Bye bye.